Hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Whatever you discuss with this guy. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's <laughs> eye. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. Okay. But... You poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. <laughs> Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Let's Could try beef it. you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop, drop hits your gullet. Let's try it. Damn! The man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Have a look. Uh. Hoots, hooch. Okay. Great, huh? All right. So what does it do? I mean, before I consume it, let's save it. Being an elaborate, okay. I Another didn't tankard? Hell, oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. Hey. But I've a anchoring for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Right as falling rain. What's it to you, chuffer? Don't worry your pretty head about the fist, love. I can play them all like a lute. <laughs> yeah, let her handle it. What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. <laughs> Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon. Setting my phoenix nest aflame. I shall slake your thirst, dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up another tankard for the fist. The town. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the cats. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. <laughs> what a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. 
Give her a fist. Oh, you are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. <laughs> Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. The Drow, two of our most popular courtesans, a night with them seems to be rather life-changing, <laughs> if you can afford it. Of course, they are siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city <laughs> is as disgusting as they are. Get down. That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent Ooh. visitor whose very presence offends me. And who's that? He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. I see. All right. Cabaret here featuring Roll the Despoiler, the highest kicks in Baldur's Gate guaranteed. But uh, these are the drought hills, right? Queen Roll the Despoiler. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Arthur, this hells. Followed me all the way here? What could you possibly want with me now? What? How? Nine hells. Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Uh. Please don't. What do you want from me? It's not my fault. Okay. I was forced to do this. Framed even. Okay. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. I can't tell you. I won't tell you. Persuade? Let's do intimidation. Nice. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. Okay. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. Really? More. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Mm. Not because I want to, because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. Yeah, you still haven't Told me who they are. I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Okay. Go there. Tell them Uncle Felogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. 
Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. I still want the money. Now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. Thanks, but I'll need your gold too, yeah. Take it, all of it. I don't <laughs> care. You'll never see me again, I, I promise. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the gold. Okay, nice. How much gold did he give? 550, right? Nice. Uh, we got the lower city pass, right? Okay, so this goes to the lower city. All right. City is it? Let's talk to her. You can stare as much as you like. <laughs> ah, the drought twins. Name Orlith. Son Orlith. My my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. <laughs> Silly. We are the gift. Okay. One free ride with me or my brother. Oh. Perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mesoberanzan love trick. Okay. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. Shadowheart? We want both of you, silly, at the same time. There's an idea. If you're comfortable sharing, so am I. She's okay with it, all right. Charming. For being a friend who helped Amira, we will charge a little less. 500? Ah. <laughs> Why? Let's go. This is thrilling. I mean, upper floor. Okay. Wow. I see. Let's talk to them, I guess. As much as I enjoy when others watch, that wasn't included in the price. Okay, I see. So I have to send the other out. <laughs> uh, Shadowheart, let's go, and I guess. Things have stayed interesting. Closed it. I guess. Is that how was it? Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. <laughs> the room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. Okay. okay. The Lady Nim 
moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. <laughs> you know, I had a dream just like this once. <laughs> I'm surprised you needed the two of us for this to happen. But I am so glad it has. Oh, Empyrean High Priestess. Let us worship at your altar. The drow siblings fall to their knees in mock prayer towards Shadowheart, lavishing caresses over her thighs. I'd be more pleased if you joined them. <laughs> the night skips on, filled with fantasies Shadowheart seemed all too primed to suggest. <laughs> Give me a moment for pity's sake. You've exhausted me already. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm in the city's chaos. With Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's check here, what's here. Oh, okay, the mushroom there. I'll take that. Enjoyed it. I will pay any toll. Serve any foul wind. All right, let's go back. Is there any? Uh, Starian, let's do lockpick. Nice. Ready. Ah, okay. Silver glass, the Afon's journal. Nice. Doesn't seem like anything here. Uh, how about these books of. Aha, I'll take that. How about here? Rows of books. Now oh, there's these scrolls, right? So we can tap, maybe find some scrolls. Featherfall, that seems nice. Uh, let's check here. Put my hands on everything. You have my attention. Let's lock pick <laughs> this. Easy. Wow. Nice. No one stopped you yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Fist Jara? Noise. Nanathilo. Okay. Moving ahead. Nymphs Grotto. Hmm. Tell me. Am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Hey. Soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Ooh. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait, I know you. Uh, 
let's do the first one, I guess. I don't understand. What's your face? The absolute has shown me. Jaro, what's going on? Who's this oh. man? Oh. Your head screams in agony. Whoa. Just come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Whoa. Jara, could you leave? You're ready. Mm, let's do haste. Well, let's do that. Ah! I should have gone a little bit closer, huh? Yes. Okay, so Australian needs 15 there also. This will be a critical hit, right? Just 6? Okay, fine. Silence, nice. Can't give up. Alright, so you do... Uh, we'll do divine strike. Shall we cut and run? Let's go here. Can't give up, not now. Let's do divine. Uh, no, this is divine intervention, right? Uh, we'll do divine strike. Melee. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Critical hit. Uh, I could do piercing strike or I could do offhand attack. Let's do that. Gain a plus 10 bonus to your attack roll, right? Nice. Okay. One can't yeah. always be a gentleman. Why don't you just do a simple 1, 2, 3, 4 and it should be done. Still breathing, despite everything. I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. Yeah. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. I'm sorry. How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. Huh. As am I. My thanks are as bountiful as your courage. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. All right. Be well. Be beautiful. Ooh. I'll take that for sure. An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. 
It's a wooden a chest. Little. Let's check that. I'll take that. I need money. Sent to camp. Swift as my feet can carry me. Sarah's Kale's room key. What that key does, I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's talk to Valeria. Something's on my mind. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? At least he's open to it. My assistant. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? Uh... That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Really? You as well? Yeah. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Uh. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? <laughs> yeah, let's tell her about Constable that. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. <laughs> Okay, fine. And this one is completed, right? Nice. Solve the open hand. This one is done as well. Okay. Borgers Elamain. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's let's do deception. Nice. Oh yeah. Seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin, all meat and muscle, that one, and wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Uh -huh. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey, you still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. Yes, is that? Look, 
this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the guild hall. All right. Lower city, basilisk gate, guild gate the hall. underduke. And that's all you're getting from me. Now scram. The chat's officially closed. That blacksmith was paying me to use the clamp. Ah, this just goes outside, huh? Okay. Especially All right, let's go up and so eight the underduke. We overheard some gossip at Sarkaris Nine Fingers, leader of the city's criminal guild, is having her territory threatened by a new player on the scene, the Stone Lord. We should head to the guild hall to find out more. Okay. Let's go. Ahead. Talk to Raphael. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Hmm. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. What? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while. So we can enjoy some uh, the emperor. privacy. The Elithid can't hear us. I see. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Okay. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles let us speak plain okay. i'll admit you've impressed me i wasn't sure you'd make it this far but okay. no matter how far you come you're still on the road to ruin a road that leads directly to a confrontation with the elder brain uh -huh. the best it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. Uh -huh. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. What is that? Orpheus? Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. And why would I want to free him? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days. <laughs> Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an elite. I mean, he does make sense. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. Uh, 
And how do I free him? The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope even now. Uh-huh. It's very convenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? <laughs> and it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what Fine, I want, what do you want in return. <laughs> Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Ah. Handing that crown to this devil will be like feeding gunpowder to a lava worm. Agree to nothing. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it uh. long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. Mm. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Uh huh. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world. And the perils of unchecked hubris. Uh -huh. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils. And that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one. Archdevil Supreme. Me. Yeah, exactly. I am no mortal, and I do not fail. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. Oh. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. <laughs> then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. I see. They brought the crown back into play. <laughs> Let's rile him up, yeah? Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. Mm -hmm. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. Oh, I see. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. All right. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, 
I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. Mm. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. Exactly. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Uh... 